Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we've got Erob starting as the red Protoss. Bottom right corner, we've got Bug starting as the blue Protoss. This is BSL 18 Hasu League. Round of 32 group F, I think. Should say on the video, Lento from Bug. Oh, Erob uh, from Germany knows a little bit of Spanish. Calling out the lag. Uh, so it'll be a laggy game on Apocalypse here to start. This is the initial match. Getting in, I don't have a lot of replays from the round of 32 to be honest, so uh, hopefully the round of 16 will clear out a bit. I'm wondering if people only upload, uh, part of it is is that I can understand not wanting to upload because, uh, well, there's a lot of factors. One, there was a lot of withdrawals. Two, there's just laziness, you know, the standard thing where you're busy or and or preoccupied. The third is, is maybe not wanting to give your opponents a tactical advantage going into the round of 16. I could definitely see that be a factor as well. Although I feel like it's less of a factor for the guys where there's already a lot of data out there on them. <clears throat> like the fish eyes and uh, etc etc because there's like already a lot of doubt. Speaking of which, looking over the round of 32, Jumper and fish eye I think are the two guys to beat. We'll see if that holds out into the final four. This might be a fast season of Hasu League uh, based on how things are going thus far but we'll see. Gateway opener on both ends to start on 10. Bug actually did he's a little bit delayed on one of the workers. It looks like he's start going out and going to get a scout after his gateway. So not going for a pylon scout, going for a gateway scout. We are seeing a scout opposite side after a simulator, however, from Erob a little bit later. Uh, that will give him the very, very slight economic edge overall. In the meantime, a second gateway is dropped, bottom right, on 12 for Bug. So Bug wanting to open up with the two gate. One thing Opening up with the two gate on this map that we've seen in other matches here is, is the two gate can be very, very strong because there's not, there are no ramps to defend, but you really need to heavy dedicate to it. You can't just build the seven zealots and go for an assimilator, or the, I should say the three zealots and go for an assimilator after the fact. And it looks like we already have a pylon set up for the assimilator afterwards because part of the challenge of that is, is usually what protects you as far as the counterattack off the two gate is oftentimes you'll have that high ground to buy you some misfires so you can get a sufficient amount of dragoons up and defend yourself or you can pull probes but pulling probes kind of defeats the purpose right <clears throat> so you get you can get that economic lead still on this map but you need to be careful where if you don't take out any dragoons and if it gets fought off you do potentially have to worry about a counterattack. it looks like we do have a defensive zealot built initially Cybernetics core. We'll see if that spins or if we're going to see a second Dragoon immediately. The safer play is additional troops. But in the meantime, Erob sees the two gate and sees three pylons. So knows that there's not anything else. And also sees, uh, not a suspicious, but a, a lack of a simulator to follow. Really wants to see whether that assimilator is dropped as far as the follow up. But holding the additional minerals is actually moving out another worker here. The Zealot doing a little bit of damage. So the Zealot's actually pulling back. And Bug actually going three Zealots into expansion here, or trying to, and Erob hanging, hanging around to spot it, and actually going for a pylon block. What a read. Great read. Second gateway dropped, and a Dragoon out, So the, and the pylon canceled. But this probe, even though it's getting wiped out right there, massively successful. And a Nexus getting dropped as far as... So it's initial three Zealots to go into expansion as far as a follow-up. This is very, very risky to me. And Erob already moving out. Yeah, he's going to get a good amount of distance. Does still need to micro against these Zealots, but and still needs a stutter step micro. Well, is he just going to get the shot and run back? Okay. The more micro you can do here, the better. Soften those Zealots up. We got a second Dragoon out. Once you have that third and fourth Dragoon out on the field is when this starts getting really, really scary for Bug in the opposite corner. Honestly, he might want to follow up. Yeah, he's following it up with a Forge which might be necessary, but honestly, I don't even know that it's going to be enough because once the Dragoons get out, depending on how poorly or successfully these Zelts do, they're already, two of them already looking at base shields and it's just these three. So they need to get a lot of work done in the probe line. And one of them looks like he can already be dispatched by probes alone. So yeah, one of them getting wiped out. I, that probe, where's the probe that got the kill? Did the probe get the kill? Never mind. the Dragoon got the kill. Now you got two additional Dragoons out. This Zelt's just being, okay, they do need to take care of uh, they're trying to pocket themselves in the corner here they do need to take care of the troops out here but the two initials out starting to march towards the front two additional photon cannons out on the front opposite side good blockade and honestly without any worker kills 
even with that natural expansion, yeah, you'll be able to build workers a little bit more rapidly, but as soon as Erub is able to get his forces out towards that natural expansion, these cannons could shed pretty rapidly, and that's... Uh, uh, careful, careful, Dragoon. Once you get five Dragoons out, you need a lot of cannons, and that's four cannons down. That's a lot of resources that have been placed into cannons on the front, so that's definitely going to halt some of the economy, and... This will be interesting. We'll see how it plays out from here. I haven't seen this before. But I would expect 3-8 or even 4-8 to just straight up break this. Instead, we're seeing a shuttle. Interesting play here from Erob. So rather than going for the natural expansion, he's just making sure that he isn't missing any additional scouts. Sending a zealot out to make sure that his opponent hasn't managed to slip out of the base. He's going to go drop with a reaver behind this into the base. Or he could just honestly even slow push, but with these six photon cannons in the front and basically zero army at the natural expansion. Oh, look at this, a citadel of a dune. Are you kidding me? So now we got four gateways and maybe DTs as far as a follow up for bug on the attempt. I love Hasu League. All right, pile on in. You see everything waiting on that Reaver. Are we going to see the observatory behind this from Ira? Because that will be the trick. Because if the DTs manage to start scooting out could be disastrous Whoop. latent cannon shot right there bit of a shield shred no additional bases have been have been scouted Irob in the meantime even has a worker planted there if he wanted to go for additional proxy he's staging as though he's going to go ahead and grab his natural expansion behind this is it just going to be one reaver looks like it's just going to be one reaver the observatory's up so should be able to push back the DTs. I don't know if the Observer's going to be out in time is the second question. These Dragoons are pretty far out to the front, so they might be able to get a few worker kills. In the meantime, Bug does have a four worker lead, but this was a lot of resources sunk into cannons. And this is almost like old school BGH style, where, I don't know, go straight cannons into carriers sort of thing. Uh, we do have some High Templar and Psy Storm also being upgraded behind this. The two Dark Templar in construction as well. And I'm looking for the shuttle. Is the shuttle just going to the front? Yeah, the shuttle's actually just going to hang out in the front and pound. I honestly don't know why he's bothering working with the photon cannons when he could just go into the main. There's only a single cannon there to defend. So now two, ca two cannons getting planted right there. The Dark Templar on the front. It reveals itself. And the second Dark Templar making its way. And it looks like a Dragoon, at the very least, going to get wiped out. The Observer... The first Observer making its way across is going to see one of those Dark Templar making its way... And this Dark Templar easily going to get handled. Do we have additional Dragoons? Oh, so we have the second Observer, but I don't know whether this Dark Templar is going to get absorbed or not. In the meantime, the cannons are falling. The Dark Templar looks like it's gotten at least two kills. The Reaver's taken some damage. That Dark Templar is gone. This Dark Templar, for whatever reason, is attacking the pylon at the natural expansion. Rather than dealing with the main. There's only a single Dragoon right here. And now... Irob just charging in, and there it's just going to be the Psy Storm, which is going to complete in a second here, to try to defend all of this. So he needs to wipe out that Reaver. That's going to be a big part. Big Psy Storm of the Reaver. The Reaver's gone. Two cannons left, two Dragoons, and we got one more Psy Storm behind this. In the meantime, did that Dark Templar run out? Or trying to figure out, I think the Dark Templar must have been killed. Irob still pressing forward into this. More cannons getting dropped and it looks like the Dragoon's gonna get wiped out. Yeah, that was kind of donating an army a little bit right here. The other thing Europe could do is he can go ahead and grab, considering how defensive Bug has to be here, he can go ahead and grab an additional base if he wanted to proxy something. And I wish he had elevated the troops in because we were here in the main wiping out these two cannons and what was or elevating the trooper cross, what was Bug gonna do? In the meantime, a fifth gateway dropping. Economic lead now for Bug. He's starting to stabilize. There's only four Dragoons at the front with the rest of that army donated. It looks like some of the Dragoons are even gonna be able to sneak in from behind and push these Dragoons back. And all of a sudden, Bug, with a worker lead, soon, honestly, and not too long, it's gonna be a supply lead as well because this is gonna be four, five gateway production versus just two and a natural expansion getting grabbed. The Dragoons marching back Honestly, kind of feels like the Napoleonic. That's a really vague. That is a vague and historical nerdy reference. The march from Napoleon back from Egypt, potentially here. 
And Bug not missing a beat, grabbing a third base behind this to st just seal that economic lead. In the meantime, so it's working out for him. He's also got a defender's advantage with all these cannons lately here. So not only is he going to have the five gateway production running and some high Templar out, potentially a third base up that I don't think Europe can contend now. He is also going to be able to just move his army out in the field. If Irob tries to sneak around, he can attack the third potentially. But if he tries to attack that natural expansion, turn into base trade situation, that would be it. Now we're seeing the drops in the main. Except they're going headlong into the cannons. No! No! Okay, they get a shot off, but the Reaver dies. Okay, they got two probes. Not worth it. Oh, man. Dang it. I would have loved to see the cannons... Uh, a little bit more of a defensive play, a little bit more micro with that. They spot some cannons taken out and then play from there. Although I, even then that would have given, given time for the Dragoons potentially to make their way back to the nat uh, to the main, I should say. Europe finally has that natural expansion online. He's down 10 supply. A good portion of that's in workers. So Bug just has to macro now. Sending some workers out to go ahead and provide some scouting. Third base is up. No workers transferred as of yet. We do have now seven, eight gateways. Nine gateways coming online. Ten gateways. Ah, 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 counting. And a few workers transferred around up to that third base. So, Irob in... Or I should say Bug in a dominant position now. Irob setting up to maybe grab his third at the six o'clock. And Bug on the move. He's got a lot of Psy Storm under his belt. Is he produce? Uh, it looks like he's producing some additional Dark Templar in the mid. Oh, are these Dark Templar? Never mind. Are these Dark Templar opposite side? Dark Templar opposite side. Does Bug have detection? Secondary question. I don't know that he bought. Okay, he's got the robotics. He's got the observatory. Maybe that is what he's waiting for. That makes sense. What he's waiting for is the observatory. He's already staging up to grab a fourth base. He is getting a photon cannon near that third. The two Dark Templar, if they hurry up, still could wipe that cannon out and get some additional kills right there, or they can get some additional shots. Psystorm is, is hittable here. These High Templar could get picked off. Those are prime targets. That is a lot of gas and a lot of energy to lose. Very, very disappointing. The Observer f up in here now, and they are going to be able to wipe the Dark Templar. Well, almost able to wipe the Dark Templar out. One remaining. He will perish with a single cannon shot here to the north. Witness his last moments. In the meantime, though, 24 supply lead for Bug. Having a little bit of trouble controlling his army mid-map right this second. Good spread from Irob to the south. We've got a Dark Archon out, which was a wise play for, uh, from Irob to get that and feedback. Potentially wipe out some troops out on the front. <clears throat> We have Psystorm to press into this. Also, where do our upgrades at? We do have plus one weapons advantage. Some Psystorm over the Dragoons. That is not being countered. And this High Templar still has a good amount of Storm left. That High Templar also has a Storm, but is not contending or reacting. Bug splitting that army in two. Ayaya out to Chatland. The six o'clock base attempting to get defended, but Bug ignoring it gets run straight into a feedback. But Bug still has a massive supply lead, and he's got a secondary reinforcing attack force making his way this direction. Comprised of both Zealots and Dragoons, and right now, yeah, with that 40 supply lead and these workers coming across, that Dark Archon does not have any form of attack. The Probe's actually trying to defend themselves mid-map, which is not a good sign. <clears throat> so that 6 o'clock base is up, but it is fallow, which is a fun word to say. Dark Templar making its way forward. Where's the Observer? Dark Templar could be a massive hero here. The Observer finally scooting forward. More reinforcements making their way across. That base is gone. They can just reposition at the 6 o'clock. Now, even if Irob defends this with the Observer... Well, he's with the Dark Templar, I should say. That Observer in position. One of them gone. Yeah, there's GG. So, Bog pulling it off with the two-gate opener into expansion. Let that be known. That can be a successful build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to move on to uh, whatever replays I got left in this grouping. Thanks for listening.